It took four hours on the last attempt to get him in a trailer. Um, not, not being in a lorry, but he travels well once he's on. We're going to be just look at this horse going through a narrow place for a little bit and see what he says about narrow places. Um, the owner, if the owner could take the mic of this horse, um, when I spoke with the owner, uh, she said that the dually halter just didn't work. They used it some time ago and um, it just simply didn't work because the horse cannot take pressure on his head. Wow, is that true? Of course it's true. Now, it's only fair that this horse wants to know it's safe to come through there. And you can see that he's testing his, is his foot gonna get chopped off? A little more sand on his butt or something, Joe. A little more from behind. Atta girl. So, little Benny that you saw on my signing stand, he taught me that if you just keep touching with this, and then that you release, you release each time he takes a step forward, you release, that he will learn how to come up off of it. I want you to realize that your word to me about he doesn't like pressure on his head so that didn't work is upside down. Of course he doesn't like pressure on his head and that's why it works. But your hands have to know how to put pressure on and take pressure off. On, on, and off. One little step forward, and the pressure comes off. Pressure back on, pressure off. Okay, Joe. Yeah, you're all right. Now, every time, what's his name? Oh. Bess? Bob. <laughs> he will run over you in here, I promise you that. I've been run over in there. Yeah. Easy. Where'd you go? Where did you go? So all of that volatility um, has to come down before you start to say now you're going to go on that blinking big vehicle there made of metal and and dark inside <laughs> good boy Easy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Joe, just hold him here for a second. Yeah. Easy. Easy. Now see, when he goes back, that thing gets less comfortable. When he comes forward, it gets more comfortable. Easy. Hold him over here, Joe. Please. Thank you. Okay, Joe. Just lead him up there. Ah, a girl. I'd just like him to start thinking about 
walking with a relaxed attitude. That's into pressure. That's pigmotaxis. Hold him here, Joe. That's thigmotaxis. Okay. You'll have to help him a little bit, Joe. Ah, good. Now, see, my hands have to be so sensitive to what he needs. You can't go anywhere when you're in that Lincoln hallway. A little bit of sand on his heels. That boy. One step at a time. <laughs> Good boy. We would just want to show him that terrible things are not going to happen to him between these awful metal things. Very good. You see that just touching him, just touching him and then releasing gets that little bit of forward thought in his head. There it is. And then touch and release. Touch and release. Touch and release. We're just sneaking now. Maybe this thing will be okay if I just sneak on it. Oh, look at you. Look at you. <laughs> you can just feel the bad experiences that he's had. Oh, my word. Um, when you get to my position in life, the, the things you can read in these horses is just overwhelming. And... No horse will do what he just did if they haven't had horrendous experiences in the past with whatever it was that they wanted him to do. And it probably had something to do with loading or he wouldn't have a reputation for being a four-hour horse to load. Um, and he wouldn't have a reputation either for just not wanting anything on his head that causes any pressure at all because if he did if he allowed pressure then you could train him easy but he doesn't allow pressure he fights it like that and I don't want to fight so I let it go and then bring him back again and we're getting that sneaking again which is fine I, I'm ready to go load him but I'd, I'd like it if he would come through here better. Just come right in there and then we'll... No? <laughs> I want you to walk in where Joe is there and then just walk that little half moon there. Little pressure, Joe. No, 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 right there. Had a girl. Oh yeah. I'm gonna tell you how important I am. All right. Uh, 
Okay. Um, yeah, you could you could make it a little wider over there. But we we want it to stand up. Yeah, you're okay. No. Just lead him right over to that side, Joe. And then don't get in his way. Bad a girl. Bad a girl. Bad a girl. Now just leave your horse there. You see? Yeah. Now, if you, if you roll back then and do this kind of incremental uplift with another horse there, um, then you just start to close this thing down as you get a quieting down. Boy, he's run over people big time, I tell you. He has really taken charge. Let's see what I can do at the, at the lorry. Now I've got him at least coming up off the dually and backing off of it like that. I've got four minutes to load him now. <laughs> and this is a four-hour job. I'm just going to come up here and let him have a look. And we'll just let him put some front feet up on it if he wants. Shall we get that? Please. If he puts some front feet up on it like that, I'm going to back him off. And then he, he's going to say, but I'll put my front feet up there. Go ahead. I'll put my front feet up there, but I'm not going to put my hind feet up there. That's what he's telling me right now. And I say, I don't care. But I don't want you to put your front feet up there. What? Nobody's ever told me that. You can't tell me not to put my front feet up there. Put my front feet up there if I want to. Why do you back me off? Nobody's ever done that before. Now that's the horse trying to give you what you want without taking what he doesn't want. I won't take my hind feet up there, but I want to put my front feet up there. Why do you keep taking my front feet off? Well, just because I feel like it. No, I just want to control things so that you have a chance to prove to us that you can load. There's no problem with you loading it here. I'm just going to walk up here, see what you say. And those panels are going to help me. But watch, so you see, he's going to stretch way out now. Yes, you can have my front feet all you want. But I just don't give you my hind feet. Don't even think about it. Because I'm not going to do it. I can stretch a mile. But I'm not going to give you my hind feet. No way, Jose. Okay. You see that little touch? He can't overcome it. He has to say, I want to come forward. I want to come forward because then he gives me the the free line and it doesn't oh I'm gonna try it I'm gonna try it I'm gonna try it oh easy 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 now that was exactly four minutes exactly four minutes look at you now 
what we're going to do is let him work on this on his own. I thought we were going to have to close those down and all sorts of things, particularly with the volatility that this horse has. But right now, without anybody forcing him to do anything, he's really learning that while he was afraid of all of these things that happen at this bloody truck, this time, nothing is happening like it generally does where I have to fight all these things. I can be very dangerous if you want me to be. I can be very dangerous. But they're not giving me anything to fight. So, I just keep going in that lorry. Actually, for the first time in my life, I see that the lorry really doesn't mean me any harm. You know, you can't blame anybody for grabbing a lunch whip and getting behind their heels. Everybody does it. They all do it. And giving him a good crack across the heels. And then that brings the fight mode on. And that's the four hour job. I don't want any fights. And we are now creating a ritual. And it might turn into a habit where he just loads himself. <laughs> Aren't you proud of yourself? You want to hold him, Jim? Or, okay. Just right out there, Joe in the middle, and about 20 feet out there or so. I'm going to go get inside, and I'm going to ask Joe to just hold him out there in the middle of the ramp, um, about 20 feet from the ramp, and then let him choose where he wants to go. Okay, Joe. Just let him choose. I'll tighten it, and then when he moves, I'll loosen it. He's going to wander around. He isn't accustomed to this, making his own decision about whether to go in there or not. That's what I mean about causing the horse to want to. Okay, Joe, repeat that, please. And we're going to do about three of these, I think, before she clucks to him, because I would like for him to show you that he would even like to trot into the truck. Go see your friend. Horses don't get bored with doing the same thing over and over again. They just don't get bored. They get happy with conquering their demons. Oh, that's good. Now that was totally under control. And this time Joe's going to give him a cluck when he leaves her. And we just may see him trot in, and then we'll have our owner load him. Very good. Okay, Joe, I want you to go right back 30 feet now and cluck to him when he leaves you. This line is 30 feet long, so 10 meters long. Let's see where he wants to go. 
<laughs> okay, I want an owner here. With a hat on. Good boy. I'm just going to walk around in this circle. Watch the circle I'm walking around in here. And then I'm just going to walk up here. <laughs> now, my owner should come up here. But I have to tell you that you're going to have to walk fast. Because he will now beat you up there. All right, now turn around. Now, you're going to walk over that way and walk a circle like this. And when you get out there, look up in the lorry and walk fast and go in the lorry or he'll outrun you. Okay? Don't look back at him. Just walk on. Go off to your left. Walk your circle. Look up in the lorry, and very fast. Okay, okay, they can go home. Can, can you help her? You got her? Okay. Thank you so this, much. I get Thank a hug you. each time. <laughs> Thank you. Good job. Uh, Kelly, thank you, Joe, for your help there. That was really good. Thank you, Jim, for your help there. And thank the audience very much. <laughs>